Hello everybody, I'm here today to tell you about uh, the Oceans and Waters mission uh, of the European Union. This is essentially one of the most existential and important issues in our lifetime. The health of the oceans is vitally important for the health of all human life and indeed all life on this planet. But we are facing a time of unprecedented challenges. Mankind is leaving an unsustainable footprint on the health of the oceans and that has to change. Climate change, one of the biggest issues on this planet, is having a very important impact on the ocean. On the one hand, the ocean is greatly helping all of us by ameliorating, reducing the impacts of heat buildup and of CO2 emissions by absorbing carbon into the water of the oceans. But with 97% of the water on all this planet in the oceans, that absorption of carbon is making it more acidic. That's a potential huge threat to the whole food system of the ocean on which we rely to deliver so much protein. We've got to stop that. We've got to help the oceans by stopping the amount of carbon we're producing. We've got to change our practices for climate. We have got to improve our knowledge of the ocean and indeed the empathy and the understanding each individual citizen has about the fact that the ocean is vital to each and every one of our lives. Every time I breathe, half the oxygen I'm getting has come from microscopic plants in the ocean. All the water about which and without which no life exists, the reservoir for this planet is the ocean, 97% in the ocean. We have got to respect and protect that. Our knowledge and science and ability to know the state of the ocean is not yet fit for purpose. We have got to dramatically increase the effort and invest in a system that can tell us, like we expect from satellites with the weather, we need a system that can tell us the state of the ocean at any place and time and help us forecast what's happening in all the major areas so that we can help protect the ocean and reduce the impacts and dangers associated with huge storms, tidal floods and melting ice. And in the area of decarbonisation, this represents also great opportunity. Just think of the amount of green renewable energies we can generate from wind at sea, wave at sea and tidal power to have a totally carbon free power source for Europe. And finally, we have got to stop pollution. We have to take out the pollution that's entering into the ocean. Everyone is aware of the scale of the plastic pollution, but it's not just plastic. There are many other forms of pollution and we have got to, as a society, stop that at source and help the regeneration of the ocean. This regeneration effort will also involve marine protected areas and protecting the water sources, both in freshwater and at sea, because these are vital for life on Earth. And the last piece of the jigsaw is to put in place fit for purpose political governance systems to deal with the issues of the ocean, both at a European level, at a national level, and at an international level. And Europe is well placed to provide a leadership for the world in how we go about this. This is leading us to our mission on the oceans and waters. And our ambition will see the largest investment ever, the largest effort ever, and the greatest communication campaign ever about the value of protecting our ocean systems in order to protect life on Earth. Please join us in that quest.